Come on, come on. See if you can. We finally made it, like 20 plus hours later, but we're here. We first heard about Pinolas from Diego, and also from Nale, who came here last year and put up some pretty sick lines that got us motivated to come and try to repeat, and yeah, they're sick, they're hard. So what are you doing? Oh, just making breakfast in the dirt. That's kind of what we do here. I always knew Pinoles was this new area, kind of similar to Waco, with a lot of rock that hasn't really been touched before. And for me, this this place probably has some of the highest concentration of hard boulders that I've been to. Right there, perfect. Stay on there. That's hard. You know, everybody kind of considers this place like the Waco tanks of Mexico, but in so many ways, it's so different. It climbs like Waco, but it's not. It's a whole different universe when you're really down here. It's basically in the middle of nowhere, about seven hours south of Juarez, in like the southern central sector of uh, Chihuahua. Other areas like Rocklands or Ticino in Switzerland, those areas are mostly hardcore climbing, but this place, I don't know, it's only hardcore, it's crazy. Like Those other places also have some like middle ground, but this is just like, if you're into pulling down some small edges, doing some burly moves, this is a place to be. This area has, has been developed and has become a world-renowned location because of Diego. Thinking about 13 years ago, there was nothing. There was no boulders, no established climbs here. And now, 13 years later, there's thousands of boulders. Diego's just basically Pinola's developer. He's just a pioneer here, and he's done a great job here building trails, which is really difficult. The you know, scenery is pretty savage and takes a lot of work, and Diego's been here for a long time doing it. Diego Montel, he's kind of you put it this way, he's the king of Pinoles. He's been coming here for the last 12 years, and he's still finding more stuff to do. Diego and Pinoles basically are synonymous. Pues sí, al final es, se puede decir que fue mi college y mi universidad esto, ¿no? Yo dejé de estudiar y de repente dije, voy a ser un escalador y venía tres meses a Pinoles, ¿no? Todos los años tres meses, después Suiza. Pero para mí luego en un Se puede decir que normalmente entreno todo el año para Peñoles, para llegar en mis proyectos en Peñoles, ¿no? Al final de cuentas es algo, es mi jardín, ¿no? Es mi casa mexicana, se puede decir. Me enteré por una revista que vi en México, una revista de turismo, que decía, ven a caminar a Peñoles, exploración, y vimos unas fotos con piedras, con algunos boulders, y decidimos venir yo con un grupo de tres amigos, y ya fue que vimos que era excelente lugar, ¿no? Como un excelente lugar para escalar. Y así, ya con los años, desde ese momento vine cada año. Estuve viniendo a Peñoles todos los años por dos, tres meses. Realmente mi tiempo de México es estar aquí en Peñoles, ¿no? About to go run around. I'm oh, actually really excited to find something it's special. What? Yeah, like never ends, dude. Jimmy, is that sick? She sold her head. Oh, sick. Oh. 